artists. Today we are going to be using our shapes to create a robot. I have crayons, I have some cut out pieces of shapes, and some extra shapes in here. Right now we're just going to need our gray shapes. We have a big gray shape and a small gray shape. Give me a thumb up if you have those materials. Before we get started, we need to put our name on the paper. So get your dark colored crayon and you can put it at the top or the bottom, but I want you to put your name. Give me a thumb up when you have your name. I'm gonna put that crayon away because I'm not gonna need it right now. So my robot might be a special robot. Maybe it's a robot that helps me clean up my chores. Maybe it's a robot that um, helps me do my homework, but he's a special robot and he's my robot. So I'm gonna start by creating him. Now the big square is his belly and the small square is his head. Everything else we're going to draw and add on with the different shapes. So I have my glue bottle and it is open. I noticed that I did not twist it because it's already open. I noticed there's nothing at the top and I can hear that it's working. But what I need to do is I need to bring all of the glue down to the top and then I can glue. So I'm gonna dot, dot, not a lot, this big square right in the middle. So dot, dot, dot. I got three on the top. Dot, 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 dot. Let's see, how many dots do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then I flip it over and give it a nice rub. None of the glue is sticking out of the side, so I did a really good job with my small dots. Give me a thumb up when you've got your big square on your paper, right in the middle. Now I have my small head and I can either attach it right to that square or maybe leave some space. Maybe I wanna give him a neck. So I dot, dot again, dot, dot, not a lot, dot, dot, not a lot, dot, dot. Another eight, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then I can flip it over and then give it a nice rub on the head just so it stays really good. Give me a thumb up when you've glued these pieces down on your paper. All right. We're still gonna use our glue, but right now we're going to explore these shapes we have in here. So I'm gonna see, your shapes may be a little bit different. There's a lot of different colors. I see there's a triangle. So I'm gonna get creative and I'm gonna cut into these shapes. I need to give my robot some arms, maybe a neck, maybe some buttons. He definitely needs some legs. So I have all my shapes and I also have my scissor. Now my scissor always cuts away from me. My big thumb goes in the little hole and my fingers go in the big hole. Scissor always stays away, never goes towards me. So I'm gonna start with one shape at a time and I'm gonna find which shape I wanna start with. And I would like to make my robot some arms. So maybe his arms, I don't want his arms to be chunky like that, that's too big. So I can cut this shape in half. Now watch your fingers. I cut it right in half. Now I have, I could use those for arms. What do you guys think? Yeah. I could even cut him in half maybe one more time if I wanted to. So now his arms are a little bit thinner and now I can make his arms even longer. I want you to work on arms for your robot. I'm just cutting lines and then making some arms for my robot. So when I'm ready, I can dot, dot, not a lot, and glue those robot arms on. Maybe his arm goes up on this side. Maybe he's a dancing robot.
dot, dot, not a lot. Cool. Now that I've got my robot's arms, what else can I add to my robot? Yeah, I can give him some legs, right? Is that a good leg? Probably not. And maybe his legs might be a little bit thicker than his arms. So I can cut this in half. Let's cut it in half. So I just, to find half, I just kind of go in the middle and then I cut, remember I cut away from me. And I think those look like some really good legs. So I'm gonna use those for legs. Dot, 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 dot. There are my legs, I'll flip it over. And flip it over. My robot might need some feet too. What do you guys think? That looks like too big of a foot so I can cut them in half again. So cutting my square in half gives me two rectangles. Okay, and I can put his feet down here. Now he's got some cool feet. All right, we're gonna slow it down. Hopefully we're not going too fast. And I'm gonna check on you guys to see how you're doing. And we still have a couple more pieces left and I want your goal to be to use up all those shapes today. All right, so what is next? What is next on our robot? We don't have a face at all. We might need some, a little bit of a neck. So maybe I can start cutting up another square and making some shapes to fill in some extra spaces. So let's see, that's too long, so I'm gonna cut something shorter. Maybe I wanna give him a little neck. And maybe I wanna give him some shape eyes. I could do that. Maybe I want to hmm, maybe give him something on his head. Right, totally up to me. I am just cutting up little shapes and I'm adding them onto my robot now. I got my robot's eyes. He even has a neck now. I can even maybe tuck that under. Nope, I can't. I've got some triangle shapes. Maybe I wanna give him a hat. That kinda works. Actually, I like that. I'm gonna give him a triangle hat. You can always cut a triangle out of one of your squares by cutting it all the way diagonal. So if I cut it this way, diagonal, now I have a triangle when I cut it in half. Maybe I wanna add that triangle on his body. You can give him a double hat. Up to you, but I am going to Glue, I like that one. I'm gonna glue that one down. Dot, dot, not a lot. Now I remember, I have to use up all my shapes. So maybe I can start making small shapes. I can even do small shapes for inside his eyes. Looking kinda cool with his eyes. Don't forget to glue things down because we're gonna give it a test in a little bit to see if everything's stuck on. So dot there and a dot there for his eyes. And then I, look at all this, I still have more. I can maybe do some fun, funky shapes on his body. Maybe I wanna give him a top of his hat even have some shapes down here. Maybe I can give him some stuff on his shoes. So many different options to add all your lines onto your creature, your, your robot, right? He's a robot. Oh, actually, I'm gonna give him some hands. There we go. So now all that stuff, I need to glue it down. So don't forget, dot, dot, not a lot. 
all your stuff down so it doesn't fall off when you're done. Okay, Mona, now my robot is about done. I'm gonna give him a little shake. Everything's stuck on really, really good. Now, we still have our crayons, and when you're done, you can add some extra things with crayons. So let's see, I'm gonna go get my black crayon again, and I can, maybe this time I can draw a mouth because I didn't have a mouth before. I could even draw some eyeballs on him. Just be careful because some we have some glue still. I can give the robot some buttons. Maybe he's got some buttons you can press. I got a circle and then an X in the middle for the buttons. I can even do that. Maybe it could be even some screws that hold him together. You can draw circles where all of his parts come together. Let's see, I can draw some lines inside of his body. Maybe that's part of his machine and how it works. I wanna draw some more circles because he's a robot, so he's got a lot, of, a lot of rivets. Draw some extra lines. So it's up to you, you can even make it cute. Maybe you wanna design his shoes a little bit. To like, does he have shoelaces? What does your robot have on them? And then what does your robot do? What is the function of your robot? Does your robot have some extra things in their hands? Maybe my robot's an artist robot, so I'm gonna give my robot a paint palette. I'm gonna give my robot a paint brush. And now my robot's ready to paint. Maybe they need a canvas in the background. There's a lot of things we can do and we can make on our robot before we finish the robot. Maybe he's got some antennas on the top of his head so he can broadcast some awesome art lessons to you guys. And maybe I didn't even give him any ears. Maybe I can give him some ears that look like robot ears. Completely up to you. There's so much in the background we can draw too. Maybe he belongs somewhere. Maybe this is the art room and we can make a picture in the background for him to paint on. There's my little easel. Maybe he's making a pretty picture of a flower. Whatever you want in your picture, you can add to it and then you can color it before we go ahead and put it on the drying rack. When you are all done, you can go ahead and put your materials away and get ready for our next activity.